Well, for more on today's uh, wild market action, let's go to Jared Blickery. He's live on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Jared, we talked to you about 25, 30 minutes ago. The picture looked quite a bit different. What did you see down on the floor during that frantic last 15 minutes where we saw the Dow up a couple of percentage points? Yeah, there was definitely a lot of activity around here uh, during the close. And then dial back an hour, we were testing session lows, making new session lows in the S&P 500. And an hour later, we were making session highs. So the candle for today actually looks pretty good. And it's somewhat reminiscent of the one that we saw last Friday. Though, even though uh, all the three indices today, the, all the majors have a down day, they are marking nominal small gains on the week. And we talked about the bond market before, uh, the 10-year down 42 basis points, which is just an incredible move, you'd have to go back to uh, 2008 to see something similar. When it gets going, it can go even more. So we've been looking out for capitulation in the bond market. Uh, if it looks like today, maybe it. Just wait until next week. It could get a little bit worse. We'll have to see. But then just looking at some of the weekly uh, winners and losers in sectors, we have utilities up 8%, followed by staples and healthcare. And those kind of track the uh, winners that we're seeing in the Dow. United Health up 11%. Walgreens Boots, not only a staples play, but also a healthcare play coming off of that Biden sweep on, uh, on uh, Super Tuesday. That's up 10%. Walgreens up 10%. Walmart up 9%. And then the losers, not surprisingly, financials and energy. So financials are down 3% and energy down 5%. We talked about the crude close down 10% in not only WTI, but also Brent. Worst day for Brent since December 2008. Getting back to the Dow, uh, JP Morgan was uh, the second worst loser down 6%, and then followed by Exxon down 7%. All in all, just another crazy week here at the New York Stock Exchange. All right, Jared Blickery live on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.